Top. We don't put tree toppers because normally we have to cut off the top of the tree. The top, it doesn't matter. <laughs> How do I buy gifts for people I don't like but are obligated to buy for? Yeah, your mother-in-law's come out. So <laughs> what present do I get my Indian parents? A's. You're Asian or you're Bijan? <laughs> If so. the thought is all that counted, people would look for things sold out and say, hey, I thought of getting this for you. No, that's shameless. I'm getting everyone sold out goods this year. <laughs> Think about you. Take some what makes long you happy? walks and do things for yourself. Get your nails done, get your hair done if Why you Why she like. has to do nails? I'm How do you know she has nails? Everybody has nails. They don't have to be long. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Ew. Oh my god. The things you make fun of. <laughs> okay, I'm moving on. Call me lack of tact. <laughs> You're tactless. What's one tradition y'all do every holidays other than make fun of me? <laughs> Huh? What do you do? I have no idea. <laughs> One tradition we do every year, we make... We paint nine nails. <laughs> we paint... <laughs> what do we do? Tell me. Show with your hands. Show with your perfect ten fingers, you bloody show off. <laughs> Peppermint cookies. We love them. They are shortbread with icing, sugar, and or like white icing. You're looking at me for help on how you make these cookies. <laughs> no, I'm telling no you. I just eat them. And peppermint candy on top of them. They are delicious. I every eat year. them every year. They're great. Yes, they are delicious. The Those, other one I like yeah. is every year we buy one ornament. Yes. That's and then a you good write one. the year on it. Yes. And the first year you do it, you're like, wow, this is lame. There's only <laughs> one. But then, before you know it, you have almost 20 of them. Mind blasted. We have so, a lot. So many. We have a lot of ornaments, very special ornaments. That's a great one. Mm -hmm. I have great ideas. You just say something about food and make fun that of it. That was my idea. Who said it? You oh, make cookies, make a peppermint cookie. And so, just because I didn't say that. You, pay, you don't say it, you lose it. <laughs> what are some last minute <laughs> gift ideas? Uh, they'll be sold out. <laughs> no, by the time this episode airs, the seven pieces will be gone. So I don't know why you There's keep pushing it. There's not only seven pieces. Go. Okay. Right, what is a good, what is some good gift ideas, man? Draw a picture. Apart Say when I was four, March. this was good enough for you, bloody. I drew you a photo. No. You know what? People are really into this year and even before. Small businesses. like. Yeah, buy someone all... a small business. No. <laughs> Next. Gifts How do I not murder my husband? As he not... They get it. Keep... <laughs> they... No one thought you're actually going to go buy a bloody business. Please keep up with the show, man. Okay. How do I not murder my husband as he naps on the couch every Sunday? Have you ever seen me nap on the couch on a Sunday that you're making this face? Was it Sunday, bloody? You don't know how the calendar works? Does she say Saturday napping? She's fine with the Saturday naps. It's a Sunday she wants to kill him. Just eliminate him from your life on social. And then if no one notices, He's not then you gonna kill him. Care. He's gonna be sleeping. No, but then if no one notices, she can end him one Sunday. <laughs> I mean, come on, you can't say that. End him, I mean like, uh, off his switch. <laughs> when I sing Jack the Halls, I'm not... Uh, well, just read, <laughs> what? These are words. Why are you insinuating things? Start over. Maybe he's... Uh, I can't read properly, the poor guy. Don't when make fun I, of more people now. When I sing Jack the Halls, all I can think of is Jack the Balls in my normal. You're perfectly normal. You're confusing with uh, that other very well-known Christmas song. Silver Balls. <laughs> we talked about that in the last episode. Silver Bells. Wait, Silver Balls or Silver Bells? Since you get arrested, bloody. The children running on laughing <laughs> Silver Balls on the corner of the street. Ringling, why you? Sing it. Silver, silver balls. balls, silver balls. Yeah, there's a whole album here to be you, made, Ray. You need to just dial it back a little. So do you. How to keep the Christmas tree from falling over. So we are not... Don't ask. Don't ask us. We don't know we the do answer. We do not know the answer to this. I have bought three of these tree holder Stands. things and two have failed. Yes. This one, uh, we're hoping for best luck. Yes. How big a Christmas tree is too big? This, show them again. When the bloody tree is scraping the ceiling, 
it's it's bent not over. Not big. You enough. cannot put it's a tree still topper. Still not big not enough. Big enough. Angel star or something else on the top of the tree. You do you. Whatever, Whatever you, you want. like. Song. We don't put tree toppers because normally we have to cut off the top of the tree. Mm-hmm. Once someone said, "Can we cut a hole in the ceiling for this time of the year?" Little. There is a really cute tree topper that I saw that I think I want to get. It's a gnome, and he's like holding the side. This is of... what we do. We buy tree side huggers, <laughs> not tree toppers, because the top of the tree must. This is the, the tree is like this over here, and at the top it does this. This is our tree. We just need bigger ceilings. Just cut the hole. I'm cut the hole in the just ceiling. Cut the hole, or buy the gnome. I'm gonna get Always the gnome think. that hangs on the side. You should be ashamed of yourself, publicly saying these things. How many millions of people listen to what you say? <laughs> what is the best way, in your experience, to keep everyone polite at family Christmas gatherings? What should I do with family who keep causing arguments? Take the mashed potato, just throw in their face. <laughs> Nothing like a good potato toss across no. when someone's causing trouble. No, that's your answer. Yeah. Start a food fight. Yeah, throw a potato in their mouth. No. Unless it's at your house. If you're hosting, you say, uh, "Excuse me, Uncle Joe, you've had too much to drink. Please get out of the window." And then just you close the windows. And keep everybody it. busy. You know, once I was yeah, at give this... them chores to do. Yeah, once I and was at Can you go to the party? corner store no, no, and buy no. this? And once... then next, send the other one to can go return it. Can I say what I want to say? Not when you behave like this. <laughs> time. Give me the I forgot yourself. what I wanted to just... say. Just do that. Distract them. They're these maca monkeys. Don't know anything. They forget Wait. so quickly. I went to this party once. And everybody was cooking and preparing the meal at the party. I'm trying to have a sip of my drink. Just can you let me finish what I want to say? <laughs> I don't know how to drink. I don't have straw. Ah! Uh. <laughs> it worked. Okay, finish. So I went to this party once, and everyone was all tasked with like one small little thing to do. It kept people talking, but they were so focused on what they had to do that like you couldn't get into heated conversations. It was all superficial stuff. If you have the kind of family that wants to just, that needs to stay superficial, I think that's a really good way to do it. Give yeah, everyone stuff to do. Yeah, if you have a type of family do. that can't talk to each other without just causing trouble. Just give everyone stuff to do. Yeah, Uncle Joe, do my taxes. <laughs> no, like cut these mushrooms. Hey Lucy, go uh, fix. Mash these potatoes. Yeah, Don't go. throw them, mash them. Open gifts, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Christmas Day. You should get one choice for a mediocre gift the night before so you can get out of your system. No, I don't think so. That's what you do. You no. say, okay, one gift today. Don't pick a good gift from somebody you love. Pick one from what some relative. What if they relative. only have one gift? Then you can wait till the next day. Yeah, or you Christmas could start. Day. Doesn't matter. Christmas but day. if you have multiple, particularly with some of these rascals that show up that give you monkey pinatas, you open one of those the night before and oh, you just you say... Oh, you could do like your fun swap. No fun swap. Just get the one bad gift out of the way. Like children, open the one that you know is clothes. Maybe going back to that last question, that's the way to do it diplomatically. Go you sleep say, at hey, the house. No, you say, hey, why don't we do our like fun swap the night before and then we'll do like the good gifts in the morning. Oh, so you tell them straight out those are bad gifts. No, like the fun gifts. Oh yeah, the bad gifts, let's open the night I didn't before. say bad, I said fun. I think that's the way to do it. There's your answer. For those working in retail and dealing with annoying people, is that a question? I think they're trying to know how do they handle it. I used to have a game that I played, maybe if I worked in retail, or I might be just making this whole thing up. You'll never know. Did you ever work in retail? But the answer remains the same. You tag up with one of your friends who also works in this job, and you try and figure out who can make somebody buy the worst possible gift for their significant other. Ooh, that's fun. You say, oh, look what I made that Jagu buy for his wife. But that's A uh, nice. turtleneck. You know the itchy one? that She's gonna for sure return it tomorrow. But he will feel stupid in the morning. <laughs> and that gives me solace. Then you can see, that's the game. How many of these people return the gifts within a week? How are they going to remember? They stay there, people? they know the annoying people. You say, hey, which annoying people returned? How do you get out of a conversation with that uncle who only wants to talk politics? Get up and walk away. You like causing fights. I'm so I much do more n- diplomatic. I hate talking about politics. Just uh, say. Like, oh, I, I just need to check on something in the kitchen. Oh, I think I want to eat one of those peppermint cookies. I'll be right back. And, and then don't come leave. back. And you leave. Just don't come back. I prefer a more like direct approach. Mm. So he knows you're not interested. Like you run away, pretend as if you care. And I'm the one who likes to start. I'm just saying, this is what you should do. Ah! (laughs) 
said, that's what I think of you. Make sure the tongue hangs and swings side to side also. Because if you don't do that, it's not emphasizing the point. <laughs> so dumb. I'm done. Thanks. You're the one sitting eating cookies in the closet while I the want guy. To, can I just I'm take sitting a break in my room just like ah, and then. Ah. How do I get my mother-in-law to stop buying me clothes? Not my style, not my size, no gift receipt. I'm just gonna say thank you so much. That's very kind. And if I don't like it or if it doesn't fit, I will re-gift it. Perfect. I won't even open it. I'll give it to your mother-in-law. <laughs> like, hey, look, someone gave this gift to somebody. I give it to you. I wouldn't open it if I were you. <laughs> if you want to roll the dice, you go for it, lady. You're so. And mean. then if it is her gift, she'd be like, wow, this is a gift. But I have the receipt. I'm sorry she hates you. Otherwise, she would give you the receipt. Oh my god. How do I buy gifts for people I don't like but are obligated to buy for? Yeah, your mother-in-law's come out. So <laughs> I'm glad you and your mother-in-law both follow us. You two stop behaving like this catty behavior. Give her the bloody receipt. Catty or caddy? You want to make fun of my body and also my pronunciation? This is your move for this episode? You should buy okay. merch I understand. for these people. Everybody gets good gifts, everybody's happy. What present do I get my Indian parents? A's. <laughs> That's what you get them. You're Asian or you're Bijan? <laughs> you're the worst. You're Why? the worst. Be honest. Is it really the thought that counts? Absolutely not. Yes! I'm giving you, wait. Mickey Mouse is coming. <laughs> You know how far it's gonna take me to go hunt in the forest to find a dead animal? But it's not thoughtful. It's the effort. The effort to it's teach not, you the flaw in your ways. It's not a it's question it's about effort. Is it the thought that really yes, counts? Yes, the education. Yes, no. What? I'm teaching you something. No. It is not the thought. It is the thought. It's the gift that counts. It's the thought that counts. Okay, I thought of getting you something. It was sold out. You happy? I thought of getting it. Look, it's sold out. Thought that counts. Here, thumbs up. Give me a thumb. Here. You don't get it, you got a thumbs up there. <laughs> I thought of it. You're so if the thought is all that counted, people would look for things sold out and say, hey, I thought of getting this for you. No, that's shameless. I'm getting everyone sold out goods this year. <laughs> Last year for everyone, I gave toilet paper. I thought of you. That's I thought not... of your dirty bum. <laughs> Wanted to save you. Here's a loto. I'm getting everyone bowls to throw water on their anuses like this. <laughs> what? The thought that counts. What a stinky thing that is. <laughs> Don't be on the chair. This is won't be the first time this has happened, but let's minimize it. That's why I got the new leather oh chair. It's a thought that counts. Is it appropriate to make puzzles on Christmas if you're staying at your parents? <laughs> How can you not puzzle during the holidays? What kind of a question is this? You think your parents don't puzzle? <laughs> I need to meditate for five minutes. Speed run, you have to do look, look, don't cause a traffic accident. <laughs> the vehicles were watching the vehicles. Look, pom pom's going left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right. I hope in editing they can make it look like these cars aren't smashing into each other. <laughs> Fake tree versus real tree. So this is the Fake big, tree. No, this is real the Real tree. This is the big conundrum. A fake tree does not smell good. They have sprays for that. But it's better for the environment. And it's much easier. How is it better on, for the environment? Because you don't have to keep cutting the trees down. But they made the fake tree. And then where's that fake tree going it's to go? It's just going to go in your basement when it's done. No, but what if you recycle it later and you throw Nobody it? It goes sit in a landfill. Nobody does that. They keep them for this years. This tree is going years. to be burned. It'll be used as firewood. Uh, we like the real trees. Best. I think it's the thought that counts. Just <laughs> put a picture of a tree instead next year. That's what we're doing from now on. How to spread the joy in Christmas. Tell them how you spread the joy in Christmas. We packed joy boxes. We teamed up with this amazing foundation called Spread the Joy, and we packed joy boxes for a hundred children in hospitals this year. That was fun. Yeah, spreadthejoy.org. We'll see. What do you buy an influencer for Christmas? Evidence. I'm a bloody influencer. Just get them a sweatshirt. If you weren't allowed to give cash for Christmas, what would be an appropriate alternative? Gift. A TikTok account, YouTube subscription. You've got to keep selling your own goods. What are you, a pusher? Stop pushing your goods. <laughs> a pusher? I don't know what you're doing. Is it okay to tell the kids that Santa will kidnap them if they're on the naughty list? Of course, that's what you're supposed to do. Santa's not going to kidnap your children. What do you think elves are? There's a naughty children that Santa took back and kept them to oh forever. Oh my God, and what, shrunk them? No, they're all small children size. <laughs> 
They just stop growing. <laughs> Elves are the bad kids from the naughty list that Santa took and put a spell on them so they couldn't grow anymore. So they only grow facial hair and they pack gifts for the rest of their lives in the cold. <laughs> It is known. Does Trade ever buy gifts or is it just cash hanging off the Christmas tree for kids to pluck? The Not answer finished. to both of these is no. Trid doesn't ever buy gifts because I buy all the gifts. And cash does not just hang off of the tree for kids to pluck. That's a good idea though. It is a good idea. I'm just going to Can put you take envelopes care of all on the, the tree. Yeah, yeah, I'm putting 20 envelopes and you don't know the denomination of what's inside or the currency. <laughs> Are, va, 100 rupees, yay! Next. One or two lucky ones will be there with like $20. If you could rename Santa's reindeer, what would their names be? Do you even know the real reindeer names? No. Tell me like three of them. Rudolfo, that's the main one with the traffic light on his face. <laughs> Elmer. Who's Elmer? Bashful. <laughs> Bashful is that rascal that thinks he's so good. Those are not the reindeer. Those are good. Those are Snow White's dwarf. No, those are the other elves. You're confusing all your little people. So <laughs> what, what is it that make you two get along so well? Bros without homes. <laughs> See you next week. Happy holidays. Wishing you all the best this season and sending you It's my you all perfect vision. It's your perfect vision. That must be it.